Uh, left hand contusion, negative, negative x-ray, so day to day, so we got pretty lucky. Not often you see him in that, that much pain. Yeah, he said right away, I got I to gotta come out, got me, got him right on the, on the, and I don't know what bone or, but he just, it hit and it squared him up good. Yes. Uh, how he feels on Friday. Yes. Yeah. How would you assess Lynch tonight? You know, I, I thought he threw the ball well. I got to look at the the locations because he got squared up pretty good in that one inning, but his stuff didn't seem to diminish in that inning. So it was either locations or, um, you know, pitch choice, you know, whatever, you know. But Brian seemed to think he was in the right spot with what he was throwing. So I'm, I'm going to defer to looking at the locations. But after that, you know, I thought it was important for him to see if he could go and figure it out. And he got the, those last two innings were, were efficient. What do you think of the offense tonight? And how can you guys try to generate some runs on the board? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we got we got a fair number of hits. You know, we had chances to drive guys in and, you know, it's one of those things with runners in scoring position that the randomness of it and the the ability to, that comes and goes, right? So lately it has not been there for us, and you know we're not backing down from that. But we, you know, we got to keep putting quality at bats together. When you have when you have a chance to score, you, you don't change your approach. You you don't try to do too much. Do you get the sense that the weight of the losing streak and the season not going the way the young guys want? Uh, that that weight shows itself in those those big spots with runners in scoring position. No, I don't think so. I think you know, in, in, like we've talked about in any situation, there's two guys up there, right? So the pitcher, maybe he's bearing down more, maybe he's changing a little bit with what he does, and that's our job to adjust to that. Are there guys that are probably trying to hit a three-run homer at times? Yes, but other times. I think you know we we've put some good at bats together and didn't have a lot to show for it. You know, not just tonight, but but over the course of this streak. Um, do I think the guys are feeling the fact that we've lost nine in a row? Yeah, but I don't think it just manifests itself only when there's guys in scoring position. We've been, I mean, like luck in those situations. You guys have maybe been a little bit unlucky with as many base runners and good at bats as you have. Sure. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of randomness in baseball, right? I mean, you can't, once that pitcher, once you decide to swing, you make contact, you have zero control over what happens after that. And sitting in the dugout, we have zero control over, you know, the outcome of that. You know, the guys, the guys have to stay in that moment, see the pitch, do the best they can to put a good swing on it, you know, and, and at times we've done that and gotten as you're saying, unlucky, and other times we've gone out of that approach, but it's not just a clear across the board, everything's been the same. To clarify one thing about Dana, you said uh, Brian said the spots were okay, you mean like... No, the the pitch selection, yeah. I, I'm saying I want to go see the locations to see if he got, if he was missing or if they were center... Ali went four for five today. What are you just seeing from his approach in these last couple of games at the plate? Yeah, I mean, his approach has been pretty consistent throughout. Um, he looks very comfortable right now as far as his timing. He's he's making pretty good swing decisions. If he gets behind an account, he's not necessarily swinging to, to do a ton of damage. He's swinging to put a good swing on the ball. So I think he's controlling his own really well.